What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Fit, Healthy, and Most of All Happy Podcast. As always, I'm your coach and host, Josh, here with his co host and his co coach, KG, and I'm in the house. We got some high level habits to help you get fitter, healthier, and happier in 2023. So make sure you tune in, you're listening up, you got your coffee, you're ready to go because today's episode is going to be a banger. And I expect you to learn a lot. And most importantly, when you learn this, make sure you're going out, applying it into your life because going to lead to some crazy changes. Take it away, Kyle. So yeah, this is expanding on our last episode. We'll link that down below just on five or sorry, six amazing nutrition tips to help you guys out. And we want to take it a step deeper and kind of go more into depth of other things past nutrition, because we feel like these are things that a lot of people overlook and struggle with. So number one is going to be dialing in your sleep routine. So it's pretty crazy. When I was looking up some statistics, they said that one third of Americans do not get enough sleep or enough proper sleep on a regular basis. So this is something that needs to be talked about. And when it comes down to it, like a lot of people don't realize you may consume 500 plus more calories just because of a lack of sleep. You know, we all know those feelings when we just feel sleep deprived, where we don't feel our best, what takes place? You become a lot lazier as well. So you become less active. You end up just not being as prepared food wise. You end up just craving a lot of stuff. So when it comes down to it, a lot of people are always thinking, I need to just decrease my calories. I need to be more consistent. I need to try this new fat loss thing. But at the end of the day, they don't even look at their sleep. So we want to give you some more tangible solutions as well and just some more tips. So we're huge fans of this. I'm a huge believer in at least seven to eight hours of high quality sleep. And that's a big difference between seven to eight hours of just like in and out sleep and just not really focusing on like high quality, right? There's a big difference between just sleeping and then high quality sleep. So starting off, we like to just think of deciding on a bedtime routine and your body just gets used to it. You'll notice your body usually starting to get tired at a specific time and this is gonna be huge, right? So I always try to go to bed roughly at the same time and then also wake up at the same time. Your body likes habit, your body likes routine. Leaving the electronics before bed is gonna make a massive difference as well. So make sure to just avoid doing that. Even just doing stuff like stretching, breathing, relaxing, doing some meditating before bed, it has been proven to directly improve sleep quality. And then the last thing I'll mention as well is just prepping your bedroom, making sure that everything is nice and cool. It's dark. It's as quiet as possible. These things will go such a long way and uh, just give you a better quality sleep, which will help improve your results and your overall happiness and your fitness journey. Yeah, there's just numerous studies that even people that are significantly sleep deprived have similar effects to their systems as if they were drunk. It's absolutely crazy, the statistics. And saying so, it's just very common for people to say, oh, I just, I've never been a good sleeper. I don't sleep well. I don't get a ton of sleep. I don't need a ton of sleep. But you need to go ahead and ask yourself why that is. Maybe there's a bad habit you haven't kicked. Maybe you haven't made a conscious effort to make that change. I also find if you just do all these positive things Kyle mentioned, you still have a bad sleep. You can't say, oh, it didn't work. Work. There's a reason these things take time. Even meditation, a lot of people say you won't even notice a difference until the first month of doing it consistently. And sleep training is very much the same. And even myself, I try to be hyper aware of what I'm doing and how it affects the quality of my sleep. And you got to ask yourself if you're just someone who's like, oh, caffeine doesn't affect me, it doesn't affect my sleep. You don't know that for sure. Like statistics will show it does. Same with alcohol. As Kyle mentioned, the quality of the sleep, the deepness of the sleep, the restoration purposes of the sleep, that is what we are going for. So by doing these things and being aware, perhaps there's times where you need a later coffee and that interferes, but you can say that's okay because I try to avoid that. Maybe you're stretching before bed, you're limiting your phone, you're doing all these other things to make sure you have the best sleep possible. And that's all it's about is just putting that best effort forward. It's something that takes time, focus and intention, just like the gym, just like your fitness, just like your health, but putting in that work will lead to really incredible results. And it's something you continually improve and play with. And into number two is to have a stress management routine. It's very easy to focus on adding in more and just challenging yourself just injecting challenge in your life. We're big fans of that ourselves. Doing more sports, getting up earlier, training harder, reading more books, doing all these different things. But it's really hard to do these things effectively and at a high level if you do not have a stress management routine. You need to make sure you have a way to combat that and balance that to make sure you're focusing on your mental health to really allow yourself to put your intentional energy when you want to. Because if you're overspent and you're not taking that time, you're just going to end up hurting yourself. And this is a great example of taking one step back, two steps 
towards. Sometimes you need to go ahead and look at your life and say, hey, I wanna do this thing tonight, but maybe that's not the best decision for me. I'm gonna take some time, get a few small things done, regroup myself and feel better. Or if you're feeling really burnt out, really overtasked, even doing small things or little pick-me-ups, booking a 60 minute massage, having one thing I love to do is a really luxurious gym session where I just won't rush through anything, I won't care about my rest, I'll do my cardio, I'll do my abs, I'll hit the sauna, I'll hit the hot tub, and I'll just enjoy me being able to be there and be there for a while. Taking time, like taking a weekend off, taking more time off your phone, it's also really important you recognize what actually rest or what actually allows you to feel rested and recovered and for me it'll be a million different things but even like taking 10 minutes to meditate for me is just such a nice little gap in my day it feels really good and i know that will make me feel better than just mindlessly scrolling through instagram or just eating a ton of food to get that quick little burst instead you gotta ask what actually helps me feel rested recovered and nourished and if you're an extrovert and you love talking to people make sure you're not letting life get too busy and get in the way where you're not able to do any of that. Spend that time doing what you love, spending time with people. If you love your long walks, go on your long walks. All these different things are just gonna pay off in multitudes. So it's really important you do allocate time to manage your stress. Yeah, and everyone's so different and it's really important to know what stresses you out and kind of have some sort of rough tentative game plan of how to work around that when it does take place. And I'll never forget, like years ago, I used to try to just think, I'm gonna get rid of stress. It's never gonna happen again when I fix this problem. I'm never gonna be stressed. And it just seems like there's always something that pops up. But I kind of just look at it as like, hey, I'm gonna make it through. I'm gonna work through this and you know, just manage the stress, not get rid of it. Because I think that's a common mistake where some people are like, you know what, when this problem is fixed, when I get to this level, everything's gonna be perfect. And then something else pops up and you just have to have those things in place day to day. You know, that time where like Josh said, going for that walk, like I know every little thing that makes me feel so much better, even if I'm like, oh my gosh, nothing's working. So that was a great tip and uh, I'm glad Josh shared that. Even one thing to add on, and I forget if I read this or heard this, but they're saying that balance is a myth, like balance in your life with anything is a myth because there's always just so much going on and it's so hard to have a perfect balance of all your activities because you can be in a great gym routine, totally manageable, it feels great until you get a puppy and it decimates your sleep and then it's hard to do that. And then you have less time for other things or something horrible happens. Like there's always things popping up and that's why you need to have tools in your pocket to help you feel great. I really love the Wim Hof breathing technique where you do about 10 minutes, you're doing 30 deep breaths in and out, following a pause of about a minute to a minute and a half. You can do longer if you want. Then you do a recovery breath for 15 seconds. I find it just really refreshes me. Sometimes I have zoning out just for normal breathing breathing meditation. I do love that as well. And I spend time doing that, but I find that gets me charged up and I can just add that when I'm feeling stressed and there's too much going on, I can say, let's pause. I can take 10 minutes. There's nothing wrong with me doing that. And that goes a long way. And one other thing I want to share with stress, which I really love, and I got this from tools of Titans, uh, a gentleman, I forget his name was mentioning how he used to do this bike, uh, this certain bike path. And he loved doing it and he'd always race to do it as fast as he could. And he'd get in 45 minutes and no matter what he did, he tried so hard, he'd be within 45 minutes. And then eventually for one day, he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this, I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna enjoy every second of it, I'm gonna take deep breaths, I'm gonna take a little bit more rest when I want to. And he actually ended up doing it in 48 minutes. And he's like, wow, what a crazy principle because with only three minutes more, he enjoyed it 100 times more. It wasn't work, he looked forward to it, he took in the scenery. And life can be like that too. I find it's really tempting and easy to rush to the next thing, to rush through your workout so you can get to your shower, so you can get to your lunch, so you can get to, work, to all these different things. But if you take a few seconds to say, no, I'm gonna do things right, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm sure even everyone can relate. In the morning, you're in a huge rush. You're like, I gotta brush my teeth. And it's easy to cut that out and rush on on the day. But if you think about it, that's only like a minute, two minutes of your day that is actually gonna help you and save you from having a bunch of bunch of uh, teeth issues. So just taking that two minutes is gonna be more advantageous. And there's a bunch of little things in life where you can take a little bit more time to do the things right, to really kind of slow down in the day and be present. And I find for me, that is a big stress reliever. Yeah, and the last thing is it's pretty powerful and crazy how how there has been a lot of studies showing that those that are super stressed end up being more sedentary. They consume more food in a given day. And like, that's why you want to spend some good time on sleep and stress because there's so many people who are overworking themselves, sleeping a couple hours a week, constantly stressed, trying really hard to overload and just like wondering why it's not working. So really those, these two big things are super important to pay attention to focus on just, you know, making those positive changes. And you'll, you'll realize that it's just, these are things that could be holding you back. And uh, yeah, 
we just wanted to spend some time on there. Um, and that's gonna bring us into number three where, and this is where there's just so many things that come into it. It's just like having some accountability. And this is where our coaching obviously comes in handy, but I think so many people struggle because they're just navigating this fitness journey by themselves. No one else around them really cares. Everyone has super busy lives. No one is there to hold them accountable, to call them out, to even just give them the right type of guidance. There's so much nonsense out there in the fitness industry and it's absolutely crazy. And it's just, it's hard to navigate and know what the heck is going on. So first and foremost, I'm just gonna say, get around a good group of people, some good gym friends, some good cardio buddies, some good people who, you know, are down to eat some good healthy food with you and just like hold you accountable there. And I know it is very hard to find this. And um, we honestly just feel like our coaching program is a number one, especially because we have an entire Facebook community dedicated to people who are on the exact same path as you. We have multiple coaches in there. We're willing to say, hey, this is what you need to be doing and this is how you're gonna do it and hold you accountable, right? So that's what's really cool about what we offer. We do actually have three discounted spots for anyone who's looking to get real results, stop spinning their wheels, stop just going up and down. And that's what's amazing about this journey I find is there's so many things to look at. As a coach, we're able to say, okay, let's focus on sleep here. Let's focus on steps. Maybe let's reduce this. Let's increase this. And we have a game plan based off of your situation. So send us a message. We have discounted coaching, three spots to our Instagram at Colossus Fit uh, with the keyword reels results. And we're looking forward to helping you finally get some incredible results this year. And I know it's easy to say, hey, that sounds great, Kyle. I don't have friends like that. I don't have people to be on me or people that actually support me, encourage me to do better things. I just have friends that, you know, pressure me to drink more beer and stay up later and just do nothing. And if that's the case, that's okay. You can't always just expect to have those friends. It's really good if you can make them and build them, but that's where putting your money where your mouth is and having someone on your side who cares, who's going to look out for you, who's going to challenge you to be your best self, to become fitter, healthier, and happier. And that's where we would love to come in and get you those real results you deserve. And you have to ask yourself, if you've been saying this year, you're going to get to a certain level and you're not actually progressing towards that. Maybe you're going away from it. Maybe you're staying still. You got to call yourself on that and say, it's time I achieve those results. And this this is the hack having a coach having someone to be there to be on you to support you to encourage you to help you think bigger is just an amazing amazing tool and i really do hope you take advantage of it because you are worth it and investing in your health is something that is going to pay compounds for the rest of your life in fact it's the best investment you can make so once again you can go ahead and dm us real results on instagram and our instagram is at colossus fit c-o-l-o-s-s-u-s-f-i-t and if you're not following us there already make sure you do because we have a lot of extra goodies we have like special just targeted stories where we focus on something like we would this podcast and really try to educate our whole thing and even myself and Kyle were talking about it today we were saying how the fitness industry has shifted so much from when we started and one of our friends like the OG of YouTube uh, Scott Herman he was like one of the first guys who consistently did fitness content he was a big uh, inspiration to us I started watching him and then I actually ended up meeting him collabing with him he's a big reason why where we are where we are today because we were able to collab get some subscribers from him all these incredible things and we came into this to help people and we love that we're able to help people with this podcast you tuning in here that's accountability that's motivation and we're even more proud that we can help people one-on-one -on -one with our coaching because when we're able to get in there give you that specific routine, give you that nutrition, give you that extra help. It goes such a long way. So if you want more amazing content from us, make sure you are following us on our Instagram. It's a great source to just get a lot of incredible info and we look forward to seeing you over there. All right, for number four, and this is one that is really dear to my heart, is to make sure you are exercising for at least 60 minutes a day. And you might say, I don't got that kind of time, that's crazy, what about rest days? Listen, 60 minutes is 1 24th of your day. Yes, you can argue you're spending time sleeping, but our bodies are meant to move. There's a reason we're always saying motion is lotion, the power of blood flow in your body, just getting out and being active. It's amazing how you feel more energized. The days I sit around, I'm watching a lot of football, I'm not moving. Those are the days I feel more tired, more sore, and just brutal. But where I'm always going, when you're always moving, think to the last time you had that really busy day. You didn't stop to think about how sore you were, how you felt, you were just getting after it, going to the next thing. And it's amazing how when you look for those sources of energy, it really carries forward. And by making sure to inject some fitness into your day, it just it's what we were made to do. We weren't made to get up, you know, sit down, have our food, sit in our car, drive to work, sit at work, come home, sit, watch Netflix, sit with dinner, 
and then maybe work out for like 10 minutes or something like that. That's not the case at all. So find times to go on those walks, to get active. The number one uh, expert for back health in the world recommends the best thing you can do for your back is actually going out and walking. And especially when you're working against that and you're sitting and everything's getting tight, you can have anterior pelvic till, your back locks up, all these different things. By just having some movement in your day and aiming for at least 60 minutes, even on a rest day, go out for some walks, play some fun sports. We've been loving volleyball lately. You can go out golfing, you can go out kayaking, you go out swimming, whatever it is you like to do, just go enjoy being a fit, healthy, and happy person. And it's just going to go such a long way. It's going to leave you feeling rejuvenated. And even for me, I've just been loving volleyball, especially out here in Florida. It's been great playing and meeting other people locally who love to do that as well. But I just feel so nourished if I'm playing for one to three hours. I just feel energized. I feel at peace. I find it's a big mental reliever. And it's sometimes easier to say, hey, I just want to watch TV for the next eight hours. But that's not going to leave you feeling better most often. It's good to get out, to celebrate being fit, to have a consistent schedule of working out to hold you accountable, a consistent time, even when things get absolutely crazy to still be able to get out there and get it done because that is how you're gonna have the key to success and once again we're only getting older every single day every single second so it's important we take care of this body that we got to drag around because we have it for the rest of your life and you definitely want to make time to take care of it and last but not least number five is just drink more water and it's pretty crazy when you actually look at the stats of the fact that more than half of people in america do not drink nearly enough water and it's been recommended anywhere between three and four liters which ranges from 11.5 cups to about 15.5 cups depending on your gender you know the size that you are if someone's a little bit more muscular and just over 200 pounds they'll probably be having more than someone that's 120 pounds that's five foot two right so it very much so depends however there are so many incredible benefits and you've heard over and over again drink more water drink more water and the more that I realize that this is said there's just not nearly enough people drinking enough water so I have a bunch of different tips for me personally I always keep a water bottle by my side whatever it is it goes such a long way because anytime I look over it's there for me I am always filling it up in the gym I'm drinking so much as soon as I wake up I'm just chugging water and this is going to be one of the biggest things even having a solid water bottle that makes sense to you I know it sounds kind of weird but like there are some bottles that motivate people to drink more water for me personally knowing that it fits in my cup holder versus me having to put it in a random spot like whatever works for you and it's going to be different even just like you know just having a nice one will go such a long way knowing that you're going to have it for so many different years and stuff like that versus ones that just break whenever it uh you know just falls or whatever it is um even setting reminders as i said like a lot of people drink way too little water because they're either too busy they forget or they don't track it so setting those reminders at specific times every hour drink more water drink more water and there are some water bottles that are good because it has those little reminders throughout the day and you'll see what time you should be at and I think that's beneficial for some people and then last but not least even just for a little bit of time tracking it I always say what gets tracked gets managed so I don't personally track my water now I know I have enough if not I have more which is super awesome but just keeping a log of it until you build up that habit will go such a long way but drink more water your body will never you know be upset with it and uh, I recommend you taking advantage of this tip today Water is that sneaky thing that you think, oh, it's just, it's a small whatever. It's just water. I don't need water. I need food. But by not having water, as Kyle mentioned, that can cause you to be more hungry. It can affect your skin. It can just do a whole myriad of things. And by making a point to say, I am going to have more water, you will be amazed how much better you feel. It just flushes the body out. It keeps you hydrated. It keeps your head feeling right. It's just going to connect a lot of the dots. And very often, this is the gap that is missing in a lot of people's game. And it's so easy to overlook it, focus on other micro factors, but make sure make a priority to have water. Even first thing in the morning, I like to chug a big glass of water. Your brain uses a lot of energy while you sleep. You can get very dehydrated throughout your sleep. If you consider eight plus hours with no water, no fluids, it's a great opportunity to do that. Your breath is going to smell better. There's just a million benefits. Case in point, make sure to make that water your priority as these other four tips. These five tips will change your uh, change the game for you, connect a lot of dots and help you doing better in your journey. And most importantly, show you how to be a fitter, healthier, and happier person. So we just want to go ahead and say thank you to every single person who tuned in, whether you did over audio or video, you are the best. And we really thank you for just being here with us today, going through this info. We really hope you got a lot from it. If you did, all we ask is if you could share this with a friend, to your story, to your social media, just someone who you think would benefit from hearing that. That will help us grow. That'll get us to the next level. That'll help other people become fitter because that is our goal in life is to help people become fitter, healthier, and happier. So thanks again for tuning in. Peace out.